What is going on, everybody, man? Mike is back with another video. Back here to talk about iOS 17.2.1, and more importantly, the iPhone in general, and some great battery tips that can make your use a lot longer when it comes to daily usage. Now, since being on iOS 17.2.1, we still kind of don't know what all was addressed. It was a very small update, and many users have said or thought to it that one of the bugs that was addressed was a battery drain bug. I can say since having this software downloaded now for the last what, couple of days, I have noticed an improvement in battery life. So the first step I would say is make sure you update to the latest software that you're able to do so. That is step one. And if you go into settings and you go to general and you go to software update, you will know whether or not you're on the latest by coming to this page here. The second thing I would say you can do is use dark mode. The very setting that you see my phone outlined in right now. The easiest way to do that, of course, is to come in settings, go to display and brightness, and then come in here and you'll see right here at the top, you have the option to do automatic or set a, t a schedule for your dark mode. Now, the dark mode is really only going to benefit the most if you have an OLED-based iPhone. I think that started somewhere around, if not the iPhone 10, I believe like the iPhone 11 or 12, but I think it was like the iPhone 10 when we started getting OLED panels for our iPhones. So that is step two. Use dark mode because that will black out a lot of the LEDs, which means they're not emitting or using any power, thus extending your battery life that much more. And if you couple that with a wallpaper this one's probably not the best example but if you cover that with a wallpaper that's dark that will also help you that much more because whenever your screen is on most likely it's going to be emitting very little light thus saving battery now if we jump back into settings the next thing we do is go to the actual battery setting this is probably the easiest thing you can do in here if you don't really care to use that much power from your phone and from what i heard at least with like macbook pros <laughs> is low power mode when turned on you still don't realize the amount of power you still have access to and it will not seep the battery as long and by reading that description it says low power mode temporarily reduces background activity like downloads and mail fetch until you can fully charge your iphone so this putting hampers on background activities also helps improve your iPhone battery life, and that's what's really happening there. I've had this phone since, what, September? Late September, my maximum capacity is still at 100%. Why is that? Well, to improve battery life and, and the longevity of your battery life, make sure you have these settings used. And you have charge optimization. You can either do optimized battery charge or 80% limit. If you also, and the 80% and the 80, the 80 limit really, is for someone who's going to be keeping their iPhone for a long period of time because that's where you'll see the longevity. But if you upgrade every one to two years, you're probably good just using optimized to ensure good long battery life. And the other thing, of course, is clean energy charging, meaning it's going to charge a battery full when it based off of machine learning, some AI when you need the phone. So let's say you charge overnight, it's probably going to charge at like 80% until about like 12 a.m. at night and then start slowly charging fat past 80 percent you know 81 82 83 up to 100 percent throughout the course of the next eight hours thus getting a slower charge a trickle charge that does not damage the battery so also using clean energy charging will help with that type of charge and you'll also see that with the optimized battery charging as well the next thing you can do is leave there and then come back up here and go to notifications. Now, notifications is a good one because this is where you can limit the amount of bells and whistles that take place with notifications. You can either go on an app by app basis and come here and only turn on notification for apps that you really need to be notified by. Other ones, you may actually just go into the app and then get the notification itself. Or you can do a scheduled summary, something that I have here. I have in incrementals, like two hour incrementals up through the day scheduled summaries of my notifications. And what this will do is let's say, as you see, 8 a.m. is the first time it'll give me a batch of notifications for apps that I have enabled for this. I'll see two, three or four notifications all bundled in one summary. And then I won't get anything or 
nothing will be fetched for another two hours. And then at 10 o'clock a.m., I'll receive another bundle. Now, for me, since I have a lot of my apps turned off, I don't really make use of this that much. Only for like Amazon and like what, maybe Cash App, uh, my health settings, maybe fitness. I don't really get too many of those, but I have that as another safeguard to eliminate as many notifications as possible on my iPhone. The next setting I can definitely recommend is going into general and then coming into background app refresh. Similar to notifications, the less apps that are in the background always fetching for updates and information, the less battery that's also being seeped. And you'll be surprised that these two to three to five to 10 percent increments of battery saving adds up to a lot over the course of time. And as you see, I have a lot of apps turned off <laughs> with only prioritized apps of my choosing that has battery uh, background activity taking place. And so when you consider dark mode, you consider the, the less amount uh, or the least amount of notifications being fetched for. When you think about background app activity being lessened to as minimal as possible, right? And then when you consider mail, coming here, controlling your mail, as well and making sure that this is also on some form of a fetch uh, time limit as well. This also helps with saved battery life. There's another thing I'd like to share with you in here and that is weather, weather, your location while using as opposed to all the time or while using a, a, along with widgets, right? So if you have a widget that's active or if you're in the weather app, that's the only time it's really gonna fetch your location. And so if you have a widget active, it's gonna fetch your location upon you know, your lock screen perhaps or on one of your home pages. And that's the only reason why it's going to use your location. Again, limiting as much as possible, the amount of activity will save your battery life tremendously over the course of the day. And for me, I can happily say all of this has definitely saved me upwards of like 20 to 25% worth of battery life over the course of time. And I couldn't be more happier because I'm going to bed with, you know, 25, 30% sometimes. And then on a good day, I'm going to bed with like 40%, 50%, right? On a, on a very lengthy day, I'm going to bed on maybe like 10%, but I'm never reaching for the charger before going to bed. And that's the point of these battery tips and tricks is to help you save as much battery as possible, only prioritizing the things you have to have going on on your iPhone and iOS device. These battery tips and tricks will also work for the iPad that I have in here with me my beautiful iPad Pro. These tips will work there as well. Now the iPad did not receive that iOS 17.2.1. This is still on iOS 17.2 and I actually will have a video coming soon about that and how my usage has been with iPad OS 17.2. But in terms of the iPhone, these are the battery tips and tricks that you can use for your iPhone, iOS devices and the like to ensure good battery life over the course of your use. So let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about these battery tips and chicks. Do you already use some of these? Do you have other ones that you have in place or maybe additional apps you may have downloaded to track background apps that are sucking battery life and that needs to be limited? The comment section is open for discussion. But again, as always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys ignite the like button, subscribe to the channel, the notification bell. So that way you know it's my video. That way we can sit back and see what's cracking. with your man, Mike, is signing out. And until the next video, wait for Thank you.